I've got a nice two-part number puzzle for you guys today. So it has to do with the numbers one through 16 and sums into squares. So let's look at the first one. So we wanna show that the numbers one, two, three, all the way up to 16 can be arranged in a line so that the sum of any two neighbors is a square. Okay, so let's maybe jump into this. So maybe first off what we wanna notice is that the sum of any two neighbors from the list one through 16 is always going to be less than or equal to 31. And that's because the biggest that we can get there is 15 plus 16 if we sum any two neighbors. And it's always gonna be bigger than or equal to three. And that's because the smallest that we can get by summing two neighbors would be one plus two. And so that tells us that the squares that we are aiming for have to be in this range, but there are only a few squares in that range, namely four, nine, 16, and 25. So as we order the numbers one through 16 in some sort of order, we'll want neighbors to add up to elements from that set. Now it's important to maybe make a list of all the possible ways to achieve these four numbers by adding two numbers together, where those two numbers come from this set and they are distinct. So let's maybe start with four. The only way to achieve four is with one plus three. Notice we could also get it from two plus two, but we can only use each of these numbers once. Okay, now let's look at nine. So we can achieve nine with one plus eight, and then we can also achieve nine with two plus seven, three plus six, and four plus five. So let's maybe put some boxes around these so that we keep them separate. Now let's move on to 16. So we can achieve 16 kind of a lot of different ways. We can achieve it as one plus 15. We can achieve it as two plus 14, three plus 13, four plus 12, five plus 11, six plus 10, seven plus nine. Then our next one would be eight plus eight, but then again, we have to use distinct numbers here. Okay, so there is our different ways of writing 16 as the sum of two numbers. Okay, now let's move on to 25. So notice we're not allowed to have things like one plus 24 or two plus 23 because we're only working with the numbers one through 16. So given this kind of ordering that we have here, our smallest one will end with 16. And so that'll be nine plus 16. So let's write that. And then next we'll have 10 plus 15, and then 11 plus 14, and then finally 12 plus 13. So those are all of the different ways of achieving 25. Now we wanna look at this and notice that some of these are very special. So for instance, this is the only one that includes the number 16. And that's important to notice because that means 16 is gonna to have to be on the end. Now, so let's see if we have something like that somewhere else. And we do, and we see that right here, we have the only occurrence of the number eight. So that means that eight has to occur at the other end. So now we can start building our list. So we could start either with eight or with 16. Let's maybe start with eight. But since the only way to get a perfect square out of eight is to add one to it, that means the next number has to be one. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the ending part over here. We know that we have to end at 16 because there's nothing else on our list that we can add to 16 to get up to a perfect square except for nine. So that means we'll have to put a nine here. Okay, and now we just have to fill in the rest of it. But maybe before we fill in the rest of it, let's make a few more observations. Now looking at this carefully, we'll see that six only occurs two times. Here we have three plus six, and here we have six plus 10. So that means somewhere in this list, we either have to have three, six, 10, or 10, six, three. So let's keep this in mind as we move forward. Then let's see if we see any other things like that. We'll notice that seven only occurs here and here. 
And so what that tells us is that seven must occur in the list that looks like two, seven, nine, or nine, seven, two. There's no way for seven to, to occur on our list unless it's sandwiched between two and nine. So these are the observations that we're gonna to wanna to continue to make. So let's notice that 11 only occurs twice. It occurs here and then here. So that means 11 must occur in this list sandwiched between five and 14. So we've got five, 11, 14, or 14, 11, five. That's the only way that 11 can occur on our list. And now we just start trying to paste this together using these three kind of like facts that we've built. So I wanna notice that we were forced into nine having 16 to the right of it right here. But that means that nine cannot have seven to the right of it. So that tells us that this is not a possibility, which tells us that this 279 must be a possibility, allowing us to continue our list back this way. So we've got seven and then two. And now we can just continue playing that game. So maybe looking up here at our list of sums, we see that the only other place that two occurs is right here. So that means that we need to put a 14 to the left of two. Now let's just continue that. So looking up here at our list of sums, the only place that 14 occurs is right here. So that means we need 11 to the left of 14. But now that we've got 11 to the left of 14, we know that this possibility where 11 is to the right of 14 is impossible. So that tells us that we can move leftward with a five. Now let's see how many numbers we've used. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got seven numbers left to fit in this gap right here. Again, we need to use one of these triples, and then we just need to fill in the rest. So maybe like if you wanna pause the video and try to finish this off, this would be a good time to do it, but the strategy is pretty much just to continue as outlined. So let's maybe jump to the solution. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in the details. And again, we just kept using the strategies that we had used thus far in the video. So our list goes like this, eight, one, so notice those add to nine, one, 15, those add to 16, 15 plus 10, those add to 25, 10, six, those add to 16. Again, all of those are perfect squares. And then you can see that this continues. Three, 13, 12, four, and then so on and so forth. So we've solved this first problem. And in fact, noticing that eight can only be connected to one and nine can only be connected to 16 tells us that this second bit is also impossible. So let's maybe go ahead and clean up the board and then we'll write a careful description of why it is impossible to put these numbers in a circle. So let's argue that it is impossible to put the numbers one through 16 in a circle so that any two neighbors add to a perfect square. And we're gonna do this by way of contradiction. So in other words, we wanna suppose we have such a circle. In other words, a circle of these numbers where the neighbors add up to perfect squares. So we'll look at a portion of our circle where we know something will go wrong based on our observation on the previous board. So let's say here we have eight, and then next to eight to the left will be the number A, next to eight to the right will be the number B, and then we'll have the circle continuing like this. Okay, so since this circle satisfies these rules we talked about over here, we know that eight plus a is a square, and we know that eight plus b is a square. But given the fact that we can only achieve this perfect squares nine, 16, and 25 using eight because of the size of eight, we see that eight plus a and eight plus B must be in the set nine, 16, and 25. And now we can just trim these numbers off. So notice eight plus A and eight plus B cannot be equal to 16 because otherwise A or B would be equal to eight, but then we've used eight twice, which was not allowed. But that means we need to have one of these, we'll take eight plus a equal to nine, and we have to have the other one, eight plus b equal to 25. So let's just 
write that down. We have eight plus a equals nine. That tells us that a is equal to one, which that's okay, that's allowed. And then we have eight plus b must be the only other possible perfect square, which is 25. But notice that gives us a problem. That means that b is equal to 17. But 17 is not on our original list. So any way that we try to put our numbers in a circle satisfying this rule, we would fail. And that's a good place to stop.